Greetings folks, this will be a frame rate performance test across three different laptop GPUs in seven different variations, some 80 watts, 90 watts, and 115 watts. Now if I had more to test, I would, so if there was something you wish were here, unfortunately, I was not able to make that available as everything I had on hand is used in today's test. This will be done in the Battlefield 5 firing range for that static frame rate performance, maximum GPU saturation, and it wouldn't matter if we had an i5, an i7, or an i9 here, as that would have little to no impact on this particular test. So with that said, let's proceed. So unlike the desktop counterparts that have a wide variety of wattage from the slower GPU to the fastest GPU, in laptops everything is a lot more constrained because of the thermal efficiency of these chassis. Now the Electro Boosted 1660 Ti, which is really close to a desktop performing 1660 Ti, nips at the heels or slightly exceeds an 80 watt 2060. Now there's no doubt a 90 watt 2060, which is something I could not feature in this test, would likely exceed, of course, the uh, Electro Boosted 1660 Ti. But the Electro Boosted 2060, man, talk about a star of the show. That thing decimated both 2070 Max Qs at 80 watts and 90 watts, which was pretty awesome. Not only that, what you may find the most interesting here is that at 80 watt 2060, was just as good as pretty much both 2070 Max-Q variants. Not too terribly surprised, however, as that GPU really needs more wattage in order for it to stretch its legs. And that's what makes the 2070 Max-P so great, or a 2070 Max-Q with Electro Boost would perform identical. And as you can see from the slowest performing graphics card and the fastest performing graphics card, there's not a huge difference there, and if you went to a desktop 1660 all the way to a 2070 desktop that pulls 175 watts, the frame rate performance there would be quite a bit larger than what you see here in laptops. But again, the thermal efficiencies of these chassis means we get a lot of wattage neutering, and as a result, this is the performance you get. So hopefully this will help you decide on your future purchase of a variant graphics card within your laptop. And that's going to do it. This is Bob of All Trades. Thank you for watching the video.